In November 1921, a group of women escaped from Mountjoy Jail here where we are. We're right at the Doka Centre, which is the women's section. These women, at the time, over 100 years ago, knew the dangers facing the whole people of Ireland, and they themselves, as women, took their proper role in the front ranks of those fighting for the rights of the people. They're a shining example to us all. The reason I'm here today outside Mount Joy is you'll be familiar perhaps with the case of Bridget Scanlon who was imprisoned nearly a year ago in what was a farce of a trial in Kilkenny Circuit Court. She's a, a convicted of threatening to kill somebody. Uh, we've gone through the details of the case. There was no evidence. All the rules of justice were broken during the hearing. Um, if you look at the Justice for Bridget Scanlon Facebook page you can get more to the nitty gritty detail. Anyway, we've had a, a meeting with Bridget and she's well and sends her best wishes to everybody and encourages people to stand up for family rights against, in particular, against the bullying of Tusla, who continue to disregard uh, people's liberty, who continue as the single biggest abuser of children in our state. Now, we want to uh, call people to do something to assist Bridget. We've been campaigning to have her released. There are dangerous criminals on the streets, we know, with multiple convictions of actual violence and are walking at liberty. Bridget, who has no such record and is a kindest, gentlest person you will meet, is locked up in jail. The reason she's in there still is because of the vindictive nature of the court system and, in particular, Tusla. Who are pushing that agenda to keep her locked up. So we want you to do something. There is a review coming up on the 15th of February and we'll put the details in the timeline comments under this video but we want you to write to the governor of the Doka Centre at Mount Joy and ask that during the review that they would look at the humanity of the situation that Bridget is not a danger to the public. She has nearly served her full sentence so could she have release um, as she should have been out before Christmas? In fact, she should never have been in there. So we have the address in the timeline. Please take action, spend the price of a postage stamp and write to the governor of the Doka Centre. Next up, we want to plug an activity that's taking place in Kilkenny City on Law Ayla Breed, St. Bridget's Day. So we're doing this for Bridget but we're doing this for all of the families who were abused, for all of the children that have been victim of Tusla, their careless manner, their taking of children from families without just cause, and then without treating them properly. Tusla is supposed to be for you know, child, family and child care. They don't provide care for families. They take children, they traffic children, which has been reported countless times how there are rings of predators who are using children in care and nothing is done about it. This of course is why Bridget's in, in jail is because she spoke up about this, it having been her experience since she herself was young. So on the 1st of February we will be in Kilkenny, we ask you to join us at 12.30 outside the courthouse in Kilkenny City. That's 12.30 on the 1st of February. We want to tell the people of Kilkenny what happens in their courthouse in their name. That the people should be aware of this because most of these family courts, of course, are held in camera, which means the public are excluded and therefore they don't witness the abuse of law, the abuse of justice, the abuse of families and children that takes place in our name. So join us on the 1st of February, Law Ayla Breed, Kilkenny City, 12.30. Gonna be the